Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aries? Did you guys start your Christmas shopping already? We have not. <laughs> but anyways, I want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours. Hope you guys are as excited as we are. We love holidays. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What can they expect for this month of December? Give us the general energies as well as what is to be unfolding for them. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December 2021. All right, one more shuffle, Aries, and let's get into it. It's on like Donkey Kong. All right, first card. We have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is that of standing your ground. It can also indicate having the need um, to create boundaries or to speak up and not allow people to uh, cross that threshold of pushing your limit. Seven of Wands can also represent having to protect your energy, Aries, whether it's through uh, forms of detaching a bit or pulling away from people that may be toxic, uh, people that may not be very good for you. Uh, this is you being guarded. We're going to see why. We're going to see what's going on with that. Next card here is the Seeker of Cups. So the Seeker of Cups is a representation of the Page of Cups. So I see you being guarded in regards to love and romance. For some of you guys, you may be pulling away from your partner or person of interest. There may have been uh, some type of situation that made you feel a bit uneasy, perhaps feel um, like you're doubting the connection or you're doubting their interest in this connection. We're going to get deeper into that. But those are the general energies that you're going to be experiencing for this month of December. Now, what they're saying here is for some of you guys, I feel like you may be uh, pulling back or holding back some type of communication in regards to feelings or emotions. This could be that you're feeling a bit vulnerable. And when feeling a bit vulnerable, there's almost like this uh, immediate reaction of wanting or desiring to shut down. Be careful not to do that. I feel that it's going to be very important for the month of December to fully express your feelings or yourself, Aries. All right, your next card here is the Nine of Swords. A lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress in regards to the Ace of Wands. Some type of passionate endeavor, some type of passionate connection here that is making you feel a bit uneasy. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is definitely new beginnings that you're going to be experiencing in this month of December, Aries. I feel that you're being called to rise to the occasion, there's almost like for some of you guys, you can even like uh, comment below. I'm interested in knowing it's almost like you have a tendency of running away from a connection or connections whenever you feel like you're kind of losing control of your emotions. Um, and this could be because the intensity or the uh, when you love, you love very deeply, Aries, completely, right? Aries are known for you know, wanting to go here and there. But I can tell you from experience, when Aries are genuinely, authentically in love, there is nothing they will not do for their partner. And I feel like you're getting to the point of either being scared of those feelings and instead of embracing them, you're kind of trying to push the person away or you're trying to draw back and kind of become very reclusive, very secluded because you're trying to protect your heart. With the Nine of Swords, anxiousness, stress, and worry, whenever you feel like you're falling for someone, because it's a scary place to be at, right? We kind of start to lose our full senses, and we start to, especially you being a fire energy, maybe over-obsess about a person. So there is a lot of, a lot of things that come up that may be very fearful or frightful to you, Aries, when we're talking about relationships. Um, the Ace of Wands is a new beginning towards a passionate endeavor. Something or someone that you are very being cons consumed by. Whether it's relationships, like I said, this could be your career. This could be your finances as well. Sometimes we have a tendency of 
wanting or going towards that goal that we obsess over it and almost becomes our whole life. Uh, not really leaving room to be able to nurture other aspects of our life. So be careful with that. Your next card here is the three of coins working in a group setting or working around those that are very inspiring to you that are very um that have major goals and aspirations as well i see you guys fully being able to take advantage of all the opportunities that are unfolding for you aries especially when we're talking about career and your finances the ace of wands is that of releasing yourself right releasing the doubt and the fear with the nine of swords going towards your passion towards what you're really passionate about towards what you're really inspired to do ace of cups is a new beginning it's almost like aligning yourself to your passions and in turn turning this into um a money making endeavor for some of you guys this could be finding a passion a hobby something that you're genuinely interested at and that you're very naturally gifted at that is actually going to render you great results when we're talking about money um, the three of coins is that of working together or being around those that inspire you with the seven of cups being able to be at the right time at the right place, having a lot of opportunities or a lot of choices to choose from. Beautiful energy here. And finally, we have the sovereign of cups here. So the sovereign of cups is a representation of the queen of cups. So what they're telling you, Aries, for this month of December, I see the only challenge that you're going to be going through is that of feeling or fearing fearing to feel the feelings that you're feeling if that makes sense it's almost like kind of trying to run away from some type of emotion or some type of connection i see you extremely focused or extremely motivated uh when we're talking about career when we're talking about money um and having a lot of choices or a lot of options to choose from now, if you're dealing with a specific person that you have in mind or that you're emotionally invested in, you may find yourself talking to multiple people. It's almost as a defense mechanism to distract yourself so you don't become overly obsessed and lose the control of your emotions because this one singular specific person already possesses your heart. So again, the challenge for this month is to be focused on what it is that you want, I encourage you for this month of December, Aries, to fully give in to your emotions, uh, to be honest and transparent. I feel that that of playing mind games or that of like, you know, running away from what you fear is only going to make it stronger and the connection or the desire is only going to become more powerful. I feel that if you deal with it head on and you're completely honest with yourself, you may actually surprise yourself because there is the sovereign of cups here is a representation of a person that is emotionally available. So you may be dealing with the person that is finally at the point that they're ready to embrace this connection. But it's almost a feeling of with the seven of cups and the three of cups. It's like you give them hot and cold type of vibes. And they're not the one to speak up and say, hey, are we going to keep running around playing this game or are we going to like finally do something about it? So, again, I encourage you for this month of December to fully embrace your emotions, to be honest, not only with others, but with yourself. And when we're talking about career and finances, step out of your comfort zone, Aries, because I do see major potential here and not only major potential, I see a lot of options and opportunities to make money. Um, but you just have to kind of get out of your comfort zone, which I know that's not something major for Aries. You guys have a tendency of doing that. You are represented in the tarot like the full and the full card is a representation of exactly that being spontaneous and having the desire and the power and the will to take on new opportunities. So I definitely encourage you to embrace and tap into your own energy Aries for this month of December. I want to wish you guys all the very best. Hope it gives you some type of guidance. And we'll see each other soon. Happy holidays, y'all. Bye.